Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about static methods. In this tutorial, you will understand what is static method is and where you can use it. So let's get started. Static methods are declared with the static keyword. So whenever you want to declare a static method, you need to specify static before any method declaration. Static methods are declared with the static keyword followed by the name of your method. Static methods cannot called on instance of a class. It means you can't access static methods using the instance of a class. In the class declaration lecture, we had learned how to create an instance of a class and access properties and methods. But when you are declaring a static method, you can't access it using instance of a class. Instead, static methods are called using the class itself. So whenever you wanted to call a static method, you need to call class itself, right? Static methods are mostly used to create utility functions. We will understand what is utility function in future lectures. But just for now, consider the following example. So I'll just create a class here with a static method. So I'll just say class. We will name this class static class method. Specify curly braces. And then in this class, I will create a static method. So I will say static on call. This is my name of my static method and specify curly braces here. And in the body of the static method, I will return a message. So I will say return. This is a static method, right? Just after that, I will just create an instance of a class. I just wanted to show you when we will call the static method using the instant, what will happen, right? So I will just create an instance constant st is equal to new static class method right and specify parenthesis just after that i will say console.log and call the static method using the instance so i will just say st dot on call right so when you execute this you will get st dot on call is not a function this is the error message Right? You will get error message because as I said earlier, static methods are called using the class name itself. Right? So if you wanted to call the static method, you need to specify your class name dot your method name like this. So I will just get rid of this statement and say console.log static class method dot on call right so using the class name we will call the static method so now when you execute this statement you will get your message on the console so you will get this is a static method on the console right if you wanted to call any other static method in the static method then you can use this keyword also so this keyword bound to the class itself just like this so if i just create one more static method here so i will just say static on call to and here i will just return a first static method and a message so using the back tick i will just call my first static method using this keyword so i will just say this dot on call and just after that i will specify my message so i will say called using another static method right now here i will just call both static methods using the class name just like this so i will just get rid of this first static method and here i will specify my second static method which is on call to so i will say on call to here right so when you execute this you will get this is a static method called using another static method right so in this example, I had just used this keyword to call static method. 
but it's generally considered the best practice to use class name instead of using this keyword because you can't access static method in the non-static method. So if you wanted to call static method in the non-static method, then you can use constructor property. As I said earlier, you can't access static method using instance of a class. But now I will show you how you can execute static method using the instance of a class. We are not accessing static method using the instance, but we are executing static method using the instance, right? It means you can execute static method when the instance of a class is created. For example, so I will just first get rid of this second static method. And after that, I will create a constructor. We learn when the class instance is created, constructor automatically called, right? So here I will just specify my constructor. So I will just say constructor parenthesis and in the curly braces, I will first call the static method using the class name. So I will just say console.log static class method dot on call, right? So when you execute this, you will get your message on the console. So here using the instance, we execute the static method. You can do the same thing with another statement also. So I will just comment this statement and say console.log and here I will say this dot constructor dot on call. So when you execute this, you will get the same outcome because using the constructor property, you can call static method in the non-static method, right? Now, you don't need to call the static method using the class name. It will automatically call when you create an instance of the class. So here I just created an instance of a class. We don't need to call the static method using the class name because it will automatically call when we create an instance of a class because you know the constructor is called using the instance of a class. So when the constructor is called the static method automatically executed and print the message on the console, right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more conveniently. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.